We are living in safer and easier times than ever before. In this video, I'm going to be talking you through the slow life strategy. I'm going to be telling you exactly what it is, what are the benefits to living in this type of lifestyle, and the problems that it's causing to our lives, and also, most importantly, how you can prevent these problems from occurring in your life. So we are living life at a slower pace than ever before. When it comes to making big decisions in our lives, such as getting married, having kids, moving out, careers, etc, etc, you kind of get what I'm on about. For the first time in our existence, men and women are not codependent on each other. A man who was previously dependent on a woman for love, nurture, sexual satisfaction, no longer doesn't need that anymore. He can go to the virtual world, he's got porn, he's got OnlyFans, he can get a virtual girlfriend, and in a few years, he can get a robot too. Women can now go out into the working world, earn their own money. They no longer need a man to provide for them. They don't need their own money. Feminism, new movement. She can hook up with whoever she wants. High level guy, that fulfills the sexual desire, doesn't it? However, for both men and women, we are both ultimately left very unfulfilled and very unhappy. We have a feeling of emptiness, which I'm going to get onto later in this video. Let's roll back times. We'll go back to the hunting and gathering our ancestors, the warriors, the soldiers even. Every generation that has come before us has took steps at such a faster rate than we have. And this is the first time in our generations that we've lived life at such a slow snail's pace. So the main issue that I want to talk about in this video is population decline. And I don't think this is a video, this is a, a subject that has been spoken about enough recently. You hear a few people, maybe Elon Musk, Chris Williamson, who's a podcaster I really like, speak heavily about it. But in the mainstream media and society, they don't focus on this. They tell you about climate change. They tell you to stop eating meat and focus on LGBT and all this bullshit. This is the biggest issue in the world. And without population, well, what is it? There'll be no one left. And I just don't think it's spoken enough. And as you can probably gather, living this type of slow life strategy personally i do not think that is a good way we should live however there is a couple of arguments i want to get across first to make this a bit more of a balanced argument so what are the advantages to live in this type of lifestyle so firstly and most importantly we are living longer than ever before life expectancy in the uk is over 80 years old a rise of over 10 years since 1960, which you might think maybe that's not too much, but I think we've only seen the the major rise over the last 10, 15 years with the rise of technology and AI to come. And I think I can speak for myself and probably you watching this video. You have to bear in mind this is the average person population. So a lot of these people have probably not had very good diets, they've not really looked after themselves. People like us on self-improvement realistically even now our life expectancy is easily 90 plus by the time we get to that age where we're thinking about oh maybe our time is up i think we'll be talking 100 easy 120 years our life expectancy will be so we have a long time to live so there's definitely an argument to say well we don't really need to rush when it comes to finding a partner having kids making a load of money starting a family finding somewhere to live call home we don't need to do we and then there's another argument that we should enjoy our life first have then have the kids get married do all that stuff this is kind of a big comment that is made in the kind of the red red pill kind of community that i'm sure a lot of you will be familiar with time of stuff that andrew tate would say and kind of a lot of people along those lines who kind of just copy his message and i am behind a lot of that but i don't agree with everything a lot of it is quite degenerate but anyway i read the book the male advantage by chris sturmy 
who is first man to a lot of you who probably know him as um and chris kind of explains that a man's peak is around the age of 36 and he pretty much advises you to just stack all your money up your 20s is your time to work and then once you get to 30 you can kind of put your feet up and live life on easy mode and i'm really behind that message it makes a lot of sense logically however i'm not too sure it is a way that is going to be fulfilling for a lot of men that's something i've thought about a lot recently um but logically it makes a lot of sense especially when we are going to live longer than ever if we can just grind these 10 years then it makes a lot more sense to kind of enjoy that afterwards however it's not that easy i've kind of recently discovered so what are the problems that we are facing with the slow life strategy so i've gone through the advantages and i think the disadvantages there's not like a big list but there's one main thing which is just population collapse which is absolutely massive uh, population is falling at a rate that we've never seen before and why is this why is this the case well it's mainly because people are not having children anymore a lot there's a lot of pressure from i don't i don't know if it's you can call it pressure but there's a lot of influence is probably a better way to describe it from media from society to say you don't really need kids they won't make you happy and you should just wait and all of this and particularly when it comes to women a lot of women are getting to the age of 30 plus and they still haven't had kids this is a rate we've never seen before also it's getting higher and higher and higher each year and then naturally their fertility is going to be a lot lower so and imagine being that woman i explained on the video um the modern day dating epidemic i think i called it the imagine how that woman's gonna feel she gets to 30 plus she's waited all her life to have this kid and then she can't have it imagine how she must feel she's gonna have to go to counseling groups and all of this she's never gonna get over that feeling that her probably life goal and i feel a massive purpose of ours our biggest purpose in life is to reproduce and carry on that legacy i would feel if i'm not be able to have my own children myself i'm not carrying on my own legacy which is the most important thing in our life but i just don't think enough people especially in my generation think about this anymore and it's a real shame and also i'm not just going to talk about women men should be concerned about this too because testosterone levels again they are falling right down every single year they're falling by about one percent year on year and the chances of a man being able to impregnate a woman each year are gonna decrease particularly in the world we live in in the modern society where products and everything we made is kind of there to just destroy our testosterone and you see a lot of young men who are just have such low levels of testosterone that i think this is going to be a major problem in the next five ten years i think this is probably all going to sound a bit alien to you if you kind of haven't really listened to many podcasts or done a, too much research on that but that's exactly what this video is here for you is hopefully to kind of teach you and encourage you to know that it's not irreversible and i don't want you to worry too much about it but how do you prevent this and just by being conscious and watching this video today you are ahead of 99 percent of this population who just don't have a clue what's going on just are quite ignorant let's be honest they don't want to know they'll listen to the news who say climate change climate change be a vegan be a go paint your hair go dye your hair blue and um it's pride month and all of this like bullshit that they keep talking about <laughs> like you can't wait around for these big life events because imagine that feeling that that woman and man are gonna have when they've been trying for months and months and months and be like oh this time no wait another month Just pregnancy test not pregnant not pregnant not pregnant and then eventually they're just unable to have kids because they've left it too long they've been living life in slow mode and this is why it's not good for us so what can you do what can you do to prevent this what can you do to live life at a, a faster rate i mean the answers are pretty obvious but some things that i'm going to mention is to are quite simple too. live a just a more natural life this will help you in terms of being in a healthy and just a happier way of life and boosting you through all of the areas through life and most importantly boosting your levels of fertility we have the basics such as like diet exercise sleep and not doing stuff like smoking vaping 
drinking alcohol and, and being fat like most of the population is these days, which should be enough. And I'm sure for a lot of you, you probably don't do any of this anyway. But there are other measures that we could do and have in place that will just protect our levels even more. And at the end of the day, it's our lives on the line and it's the future of our legacy. It's the future of the whole world. And it, if we can do anything to carry that on and prevent it from declining at the rate it is currently at, then we should take every measure and every protocol we possibly can. Modern day inventions are just designed to make our lives easier. But you've got to remember, they come at a cost. Everything does in life. You don't really get anything without there kind of being a downside to it. Especially when stuff is like cheaper and when you try all these products, they don't feel very good in your skin and all of this. You kind of know there's something, but it's just easier and everyone else is doing it. So you don't really think about it. Well, there's plastic everywhere. The water contains a lot of fluoride and birth control from women's hormones from taking birth control to not get pregnant and this is which is put back in the water and not filtered out which is disgusting most people still drink pap, tap water uh, there's radiation everywhere from our phones which are constantly on wi-fi bluetooth mobile data all of this it's just frequencies everywhere and this might sound a bit like kind of woohoo and like i'm i've gone crazy and a conspiracy but it's just factual and the the people have not just like made these things up and yeah i just don't think it's spoken about enough but anyway i'm gonna there's a certain measures that i think you should take to kind of reduce your risk to, from these types of things such as getting a water filter you could get yourself an aura ring which which i currently have you can see I don't wear it as much as I should, which kind of tracks your sleep and all your health statistics, which is very, very important. Um, for a woman too, it can tr um, track when you're due on your period. It's all really good for breathing rates, heart rates. And it just kind of, you'll get a feeling whether you're kind of healthy or not in life. Um, but really good aura rings. You can get like a, a, a whoop thing as well, which a lot of people recommend. I, I haven't got one myself. Um, and then just get organic problem or organic products sorry <laughs> as much as possible when it comes to like water um water bottles toothpaste deodorants all of these types of things that i've started to invest in myself clothes too a lot of our clothes are made of like 100 percent polyester 97 percent polyester so recently last few days i've been through my wardrobe and kind of just threw out everything that's just not wool or cotton which is kind of like natural materials or anything like that, that anything that's just like pure polyester or nylon and all those kind of types of materials I'm, I haven't got rid of absolutely everything because I need to actually invest in some clothes I kind of wear the same things but um, I'm really trying to reduce the types of plastics I'm wearing and consuming in my day to day life and this you're probably thinking like this is so extreme I'm not going to do this and you don't have to do it I'm not saying you have to do it at all I'm just giving you some advice and I want you to be aware of it. But when it comes to our health, surely we should be pretty extreme when it comes to our health at the end of the day. It's not only the health of ourselves, it's the health of our families, it's the health of our future generations to come. And like I say, without that, there will be no life. <laughs> and without life, well, that's what we're all living for. Um, but like I say, I I don't expect you to implement all of these as as I mentioned, and you might not need to, but it's just a risk um, with the modern world that we are currently living in. And I think a good way to kind of think about things is always think back to how our ancestors lived their lives. How how did they live? Um, they weren't living how we were living. They weren't eating the stuff we were. They weren't they weren't wearing the type of clothes we were, and all of this types of stuff. So even think back to 50 or 100 years ago times are very different and i'm not saying everything was way better then because there's a lot of advantages to modern day but there's a lot of disadvantages and stuff that you need to be aware of so i hope this video has been informative for you and maybe you should just share this video to like your group chat or people who aren't too aware of kind of the ri the risk of population collapse because it's the biggest risk and that we are facing and likely to face over the next decade or century um, but I'd be interested to hear your feedback if you think if you think this is too far and if you think I'm kind of 
bang on with a lot of stuff or not i'd be interested to hear what you have to say and if if you want to hear more about this and work more with me one-to-one -one, link will be to low to join my one-to-one -one coaching and yeah uh, i'll see you in the next video take care